What up, y'all? Coming to y'all live, episode four, Stocks and Cigars. We out here at Hand Roll Cigars, right here in beautiful Tampa, Florida. Come on in. Let's talk. Welcome back to another episode of Stocks and Cigars. This is episode four. We coming to y'all live from Hand Roll Cigars, right here in Tampa, Florida. Beautiful location, my home location. Um, sit back with me. Let's talk a little stocks. Today we on the Perdomo. One of my favorite brands. This is a Lot 23. I also have a Monte Cristo in the bag that we might get to. Uh, me and my guys been chopping it up a little bit here at the shop. And uh, finally got a chance to do a little recording for y'all. So um, thank you for bearing with me this week. I know we usually do this thing on Sunday. Had to come on a cool Wednesday this week. Um, due to some things we had going on uh, downtown. So um, glad to be back. Happy to be back when we have finally got some action in the market, man. Finally, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's been crazy, man, these last few weeks, man. We just kind of been chopping around in this range and, you know, uh, got a 10 point drop right there at Power Hour today from three to four. Uh, the SPX j dropped about 10 points. So if you were watching for that and you made some money on that, uh, uh, congratulations. I've been telling everybody kind of look out for that. And um, um, a lot of people giving me some feedback that they kind of been doing those things. So th this is a good thing to hear, man. And it's great feedback. And I really appreciate everybody that's uh, supporting the movement and what we're doing. Um, real quick, just want to go over the economic calendar for y'all real quick. Uh, Friday, we got unemployment numbers coming out. Next Wednesday, we got chef, uh, we got the, uh, I call him Chef Powell, but uh, Jay Powell. Federal Reserve coming out with um, with his decision on rates. Uh, CPI is coming out next Tuesday, so we got some pretty good we got some pretty good action coming up in the next few days. So look forward to um, to seeing uh, some some more volume come back to the market. We've seen about half the volume that we regularly would see on a day to day basis. So this will um, finally give us some some of the, some of that movement that we're looking for, especially if you're an options trader. Um, uh, like myself that that really thrive off of that volatility and um, those those numbers kind of moving quickly right and, and to get in and out of the plays is what I'm all about which you know from my previous videos rejection plays different things like that speaking of plays today we grabbed that 45 60 put uh, we grabbed that right around noon time or so let it marinate throughout the day as soon as we got a drop down to support we went on and sold that play went from uh, $120 to about $280. So I'll show a recap video of that um, afterwards. 10 contracts, guys, that's a $2,000 day, you know? So, you know, one thing I want to tell you guys is that once you learn this, man, it is a, it's a wealth generator, um, but you can also destroy your wealth if you don't know what you're doing. So that's why I'm here, man. And I've been doing this now for five years. Um, and let me tell you, man, there's nothing better than even if you work a job or you have, you know, your own hustle or you're an entrepreneur, nothing like having a little <laughs> little box right in front of you telling you, you know, hey, this this just hit this price and you go ahead and execute your play and just put it down and let that money print. Right. Nothing better than that. Right. And this is what's been going on for a long time. We just didn't know about it. So my goal is to make sure that, you know, how this market works, what you can do to profit from it. And of course, Keep you up on the sentiment in the market, what's going on as far as news, economic calendar, things that will make you money. All right. I want to go over three stocks, three quick stocks with you guys. Elevance did exactly what we thought it would do. Consolidated, came down to that 470, 468 level and then catapulted back to that 480, 485 area. So I'm out of those uh, Elevance calls I told you guys about last week. Uh, those definitely printed. Other one we're looking at right now is AbV. AbV hit support at 138 last week. Now we're looking at 146, almost a $10 move in a short 10, you know, uh, not even 10 days, you know, stint. So that is a, a huge one. Maybe four days we're looking at a $10 move there. Big one, Square. I don't know what's going on with Square. It, it probably has something to do with crypto. Crypto has been creeping around $42,000, $43,000 uh, per coin. So I'm thinking that has something to do with that. Um, anytime Square moves like that, I love Square. I'm actually a Cash App user. I use it for, for Bitcoin, all kinds of different things. And it's a great, great tool to have. So um, I'm a big, big proponent of using uh, using Square. And I like what they're doing with Title as well. 
So um, that's one that I'm looking out for. I'm looking forward to consolidate a little bit, come back down to them 50s. And um, if we get back down to $59, $60, man, um, that might be a move I, 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 I go long on right there. Um, but it all depends on what Jay Powell says next week. Will we get the Christmas rally? Will we get the Santa rally? Um, this time of year is usually pretty bullish for the markets. But I'll never forget in 20, I think it was 2019, it could have been 20, 2019, I think it was, 2019, um, Christmas Eve, we just dumped. And it was all based off of what um, Powell said a couple of days before that. So you got to look out for those type of things to happen. Have your stop loss in place. Make sure that you don't give any money back if you are. I just wanted to show you all some of the things he's got here at the beautiful hand-rolled cigars. He got the 10th and the 20th anniversary Perdomos, the Champagnes. This is the one we was on today, the Perdomo. Lot 23, fire, man. Real, real fire. So really, whatever your thing is, he's got it, man. He's, I mean, they got them all. They got the punch. <laughs> One of my guys, he said, man, slow down when you walk through the humidor, man. I'm trying to see what they got. <laughs> he be going too fast. Give y'all a little deal with a selection, man. It's the only spot that you can find them crystals at for nine bucks, bro. You know what I'm saying? 14 bucks for the $25 sticks. 